right, it's 3.30 something. I want to start out by thanking my buddy Scott Bell for the time check. Um, I have one of the older computers that don't actually have a time on it. So I appreciate you clearing me up on what time it actually was. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update uh, on some of the things we're working on. Just got off the phone with, say it with me, the great Jorge Barca. Uh, Jorge is on set. He's working on something else right now, which is disappointing because that means he's not working on our show. Um, but the great one uh, sends his regards. Looks forward to getting on uh, with the fans again and chatting it up uh, as we get together in the next phase. Um, wanted to give you a quick update. I was out at Oshkosh last week, as a lot of you guys know. Uh, good. Our first thumbs up. Woo! Um, out at Oshkosh last week. Hope you guys got a chance to see the talk I had out there. I was on stage for about an hour and ten minutes. Then um, they put me in a little booth to the side uh, where I got to meet some of the fans. A lot of young folks showed up, which was outstanding for me. Love seeing the kids. Um, lots of questions and answers, which I know you got to see some of that if you saw the video. So, um, But obviously the overriding question is, um, what's the next step uh, and how can we help? So I wanted to give you guys an update on that. Uh, if you were at Oshkosh, I appreciate it. It was great to see you. We're going to be doing some other things soon, trying to get out on the trail, both repossess repossessing. Uh, we got a little boat today in Richmond, so now we're back to working here. Um, and uh, so, you know, being back on the trail, doing the repossessions, but also trying to do some more presentations and things like that. So... Uh, you know, if it's something your company might enjoy, uh, something your organization might enjoy, uh, we can make it fun. Just let me know. Um, so a couple updates. Here we are on the show. Okay, first of all, we have definitively named the show. We had a contest a couple weeks ago, and surprisingly, not one person got it right. Um, we had probably uh, in excess of 130 guesses not one of them was right so now a little clue as to the name just a little one uh, repo will not be in the title um, it, it makes it too close to the previous show that we did so we're gonna stay away from that one word so now if you guys want to guess again give it a shot see what happens maybe you'll get it um, along with uh, settling in on a name we've been able to reserve all the social media um, so that's been done. We're not going public with it yet. There's no reason to. Um, but that's always the next step, whether it's television, radio, movies, is, is reserving the social media, which we've already done. Uh, we're working on platforms now where it might show, how to set that up, how to make sure we can get this out to as many people as possible worldwide. So for my friends in the UK that show up a lot and are on here a lot, uh, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Canada, you name it. I mean, Brazil's in here a lot. Um, we're thinking of everybody. So we want to make sure we have a platform that is available to people all over the globe. The next step for us is obviously going to be the, one of the difficult parts, and that's the financing. But we've got some great ideas for that, obviously. Um, you know, the project's got to get financed through advertising and things of that nature. If you know a company that wants to advertise or think might want to advertise, just let me know, please. Um, with that, we're working on a presentation uh, as well. So that's the big part. It's the, it's the most boring part of the process. The fun part's coming up with a name, talking to you guys, social media. The boring part's trying to do presentations and raise the capital. But that's where we are, and that's okay. Um, so the presentation is boring, but, but we're working on it. Um, the other question is how can fans help get this moving? And like I said, this is probably the top question I got when I was in Oshkosh. How can you guys help? So, uh, Alyssa Tobin, uh, you've seen her on all my social media. Alyssa is the director of sales and marketing for Cage Entertainment, which is the company we have for you know, the podcast and for the show and things like that. Uh, we sat down with a potential advertiser last week, uh, and he was very clear 
Uh, he said, if you want to get financing and you want people to be involved in the show financially, more followers, more interactions, more likes, more shares, so on and so forth. So I know I say it on every video, and I know you're bored stiff of hearing me say it, and I apologize for that, but he made it crystal clear. We have to get to certain numbers as far as views on this video, for example. Um, we've been averaging about 2,000 views on a video. Great. That's awesome. That's a good number. Um, but clearly, if we could get it to four or 5,000, it's a whole different world. So that's the, the biggest thing right now is just to interact, share this. Um, as the number of followers go up, the number of interactors go up, the number of views go up on everything, that's when people will say, okay, there's something going on there. We know once it, it airs, we know once we have the show and it's me and Danny chasing this stuff, we know that you're going to watch it because it's going to be a lot of fun. The thing is, how do we get to that point? So if you could you know, share it, get your friends, family, other people involved um, to watch the show, watch the videos. When you're on YouTube, comment. Uh, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All that stuff helps because that's the first place they look. That's the first thing he asked for last week, and we're providing, and our numbers aren't bad, but clearly if we have more, uh, every little bit counts. So if you could do that, that's it. I mean, you know, we appreciate all your support throughout. Um, we're trying to get to this next stage, which is, is going to be a, a fun challenge, and we're going to get there. Um, but the biggest thing you can do uh, is help us with those followers, interactions, uh, likes, shares, comments, subscribers, all that kind of stuff. That's all we need. Um, and of course, if you work for a major corporation that wants to sponsor us, well, that's another story too. We can definitely get there. Um, so just want to let you know that's where we are. Uh, we'll keep giving a weekly update. Next week, I'll try and get Jorge on the line with us again. Um, He's just tied up doing more commercials and shows and things like that because he's he's that good. He's the great one. So that's why uh, he was tied up. But we'll try and get him on for next week. Um, any questions, anything you guys want to bring up on Facebook, by all means, go ahead. I will be doing more updating on Ken Cage-Airplane Repo page. So please make sure you're on there as well. Um, try to take the Ken Cage page, the personal page, back to being more personal. So if you're just on the personal page, make sure you get over to the airplane repo page. Um, and uh, more, of the, more of the interactions will be done there. Um, so anyway, uh, podcast. Marilyn Russell just got done Sunday a huge summer concert um, that I was disappointed I could not make because of a travel schedule, but she had Cheap Trick, they had Joan Jett, they had Heart, they had all kinds of great bands there, so um, looking at her, Facebook and Twitter, it was a huge, huge success for her and for Ben FM here in Philly. Congratulations, Marilyn, that's awesome. Um, but we'll be doing another podcast and hopefully getting it out to you next week, and then hopefully the next few weeks we'll be getting it out there as well. So we got to get that going. We also are in the Philly Pod Fest event, August 20th. So listen for that. Um, we're going to be going out of Moonshine Restaurant in Philly. So if you're anywhere near Philly, it's on Moya Mensing. It is a fantastic restaurant. I love this place. One of my favorite places in the world um, as far as restaurants. I mean, it's, it's my first, first stop in Philly for sure. Um, and yes, they do serve 2SP products, which is another reason why I love going there. Um, but we'll be on noon on the 20th for the PodFest event. So if you can get there, it would be great to see. I'd love to fill the place up. Uh, if not, make sure you tune into Mixler. And uh, it's going to be one hour with better sound quality. Um, but you know, keep your calendars open for that Saturday, August 20th at 12 noon. Marilyn and I will be at Moonshine Restaurant as part of the Philly PodFest event. Uh, we've got some other things we're starting to fill up the calendar on. I know October, November are already full. We're working on September at this time as well. So just keep, uh, keep staying in touch. I appreciate it. I will always update you guys. I'll try and do a weekly Facebook Live um, just so we can chat. And I'll try and get some other people on here as well. Um, but... Just wanted to give you an update. That's where we are. We have a name. We have the social media. We're working on the financing, working on the presentations. 
just need you guys to continue to help us by you know the interactions liking sharing share uh, getting other friends and family to like the page comments things like that all helps so thank you all so much for what you do i appreciate your continued support with your continued support um Jorge, the great jorge danny and i will be able to bring you the greatest show like this that's ever been out there so we're looking forward to that um and thank you so for now enjoy your vacation if you're on vacation have a great august um, there are no conventions of any kind so we can all relax and just watch baseball and preseason football and whatever you like and hopefully you guys get to the beach or the mountains soon if you're going on vacation have a great vacation and i will see you guys next week thank you so much see ya